you have that effect on women. I don't know if that qualifies there. You can teriyaki, beef teriyaki. Oh, uh, Bill, can you imagine, you know, I know you're living in that basement right now with your wife and the kids and the and the 12 chihuahuas and everything. Imagine you're in your own home with that backyard and the kids are, and the grandkids are running in the grass and the sprinklers. Do you ever smell that fresh cut grass, Bill? Don't you love that smell? And you and your wife, you're cooking the teriyaki on the barbecue outside and you're putting that secret sauce, that sweet, wonderful plum sauce on the, on the teriyaki. Do you like it real rare or do you like it kind of crunchy on the outside? How do you like your teriyaki, Bill? I like my medium rare. Medium rare and you have it over some, with some rice and those nice onions and mushrooms and everything. And you're drinking a night. Do you like good California wine, Bill? I love a good Pinot. No, thank you. No, thank <laughs> you. Okay. But you're, just, you're sitting on the table there with the family. And then afterwards, you and your wife, you're sitting on the beanbag with a nice soft comforter and the gas fireplace is going and there's some soft uh, music in the background and everything. Can you see yourself in a house like that, Bill? Can you oh, see yeah. The teriyaki, when you bite into it, and it's oh it's just that wonderful satisfying flavor and every oh and it's just so good it's salty it's fat it's delicious and you can and when you smell it on the grill it's it's almost as good as eating it isn't it is everybody off the role play is everybody going to have teriyaki tomorrow night for dinner yep. <laughs> what i was doing is called um and we don't have much time we don't have time to get into that either this is the power of suggestion. There was a wonderful doctor called Milton Erickson who said that if we use our words the right way, we can actually, in a conversation, hypnotize people, offer suggestions into their mind by using the five senses, sight, smell, taste, touch, hearing. And that's, food is the easiest way to demonstrate that uh, right now. And if you, could, if you have good verbal skills, when you're describing somebody, this, can food make, can you get emotional over food? Better believe it, right? Was everybody in their mind, what were they thinking about when I talked about the grass the, and the barbecue and the, the nice glass of wine during dinner? What was, was that a, in the fireplace and cuddling with special someone in front of it with a nice warm blanket? Did everybody have a picture in their mind? Yeah, pre-2020. Yeah. What, what did you say, David? I said pre-2020. Which means <laughs> pre this year, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> being out outside at a barbecue. <laughs> how, do you, how important is it when you want to make somebody emotional and you want to tell a story or put an image in their head? Is that more effective to persuade people than giving them the square footage of David of David's bidet, David Skolnick's bidet? Right. <laughs> okay. yeah. How big is that bidet? <laughs> That's, per, that's kind of a personal question, sir. <laughs> but it's, it's back to the same pre premise of learning how to ask questions, make it emotional, painting a picture in people's minds without sounding like the traditional used car salesperson. Okay, it's a different way of selling and it's very effective, but it takes time to learn it. That's why I tried to put guts into a system with certain rules, with the steps and practicing. Uh, I mentor people. Every Monday, we spend one hour role playing and practicing. Every Wednesday, we have a two hour role play session. Um, and, you know, I just, I think once you get this skill set where it becomes automatic, does everybody remember the first time they drove a car? Remember how mechanical it was? Oh, foot on the brake, uh, 10 and three o'clock or whatever. They check the rear view mirror. And it was very mechanical, right? Today, you get in your car. Do you think about it at all? Isn't it just automatic? Wouldn't you love sales to be that same way? That's the way it's got to be. Where you have the ready response to a question from a prospect rather than being defensive or awkward. Or, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. This is, this is the million dollar skill that uh, changed my life. It really did. Um, um, Claudia and I live very comfortably, very happily, very debt free. Um, not because I'm the smartest person in the world, but just because I learned, I learned how to persuade people. Go ahead, Bill. You're one of the most handsome. Uh, At least say, according to Claudia. You say that to all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shirt. Absolutely. The shirt. Um, do we have time for another question, Bill? Or, or are we out of time here? 
Now that you reminded me to go brush my teeth with the bidet. Oh, I, I should I should remind you to brush your teeth. With the bidet with the bidet thing. No more bidet jokes. You're not no more bidet. We we've we've, we've, uh, we've, we've, 